It is amazing how I managed to spell the word favorite in kindergarten, but not the word class. Accidentally deleted the background music for this intro, so now it sounds really awkward. Good evening, morning, or night, Exolots. For legal reasons, I don't know where you live. Does that stick? I'm trying to come up with like an actual intro instead of just falling on my face in front of the camera. You've watched the Darby video. You've watched the Little Fowl video. If you haven't, what are you doing? It's December time. It's the month of ad revenue. Let's go. Papa needs to eat. I'm just kidding, you don't have to watch those, but you will miss out the two prequels to this trilogy of Child Feline. So I'm back at my home again, and I was just doing some spring cleaning when I opened up the cupboard to my desk, and I found this letter. On the title, it has my full legal name, which is why it's covered in a band-aid right now. And the rest writes, ahem, <clears throat> two legal name, Five years later, when she's 15. Basically, when I watched the video of that guy who left a video for himself when he was younger, uh, I really wanted to do that too. But then I was too lazy to actually learn how to film stuff, so I decided to write a letter instead. I still ended up filming something though, so I don't know what the point of this was. Now, a few problems here. Um, I was supposed to open this when I was 15 years old. I am not 15 years old. I am in fact three years late to this. Secondly, 10 year old me left specific instructions for 15 year old me to write another letter for 20 year old me. I did not do that. I'm closer to 20 now than I am to 15, which is really weird to think about. Thirdly, um, this envelope is from an important letter from the bank. So, uh, sorry to my parents five years ago, I guess. I hope this didn't create any problems. Surely I didn't write on an important legal document, right? The tape is all yucky now, which makes sense, I guess. Time really does get to us all. Just look at you. You used to be so happy. Where have the times gone? I don't know why I just decided to personally attack my audience, I'm sorry. Anyways, letter time! So here's the actual letter itself. Uh, and inside this envelope, I left for myself a bunch of I left for myself a bunch of little uh, shiny knickknacks and a, a tiny shell from like my trip. Focus. Ow! Yeah. There's these little pink bead stuff. And then finally, there's this pink rose that I stole from a shop. Technically, they weren't selling it, so I'm not sure if it counts as stealing. Actually, it's even worse if they weren't selling it. I just stole from some lady's vase. Now, let's open the letter. So, first impressions. This is very bad handwriting, wow. Ahem. A letter for my future self. From past self, 10-year-old legal name, to 15-year-old me. I hope you kept the nickname Feline and the sign Feline, but it's cursive and with a heart on the eye. Yeah, this may come as a shocker to you all. Feline is not my actual name. <laughs> oh my god, you mean to tell me? that I didn't put the name of my platform where millions, if not billions, of strangers can just come up and search up any information of me? I didn't make that name my public YouTube channel name? What a shocker! <laughs> it is simply a nickname that my mom gave me when I was 4 years old. My brother had like the nickname Ethan, and I was super jealous of that. Because I want to be American Wash too. So my mom was reading a book from Bambi to me, and Bambi's girlfriend is called Feline, and I was like, yes. But hey, we kept the nickname for a solid 14 years. In fact, it's my channel name now. I cannot escape it even if I wanted to. I almost named myself Matilda because I wanted to be a smartass. Do you now have a boyfriend? Oh my god. No, we don't have a boyfriend. We've been not having a boyfriend. The fact that I had to capitalize it too, like, remember we used to like this name, which I then decided 15 year old me didn't deserve to know, so I scribbled it out. This boy, I didn't actually like him, I just fell into like the pressure of 
you have to like someone, you know, for like when the kids ask you who your crush is. So I chose him because he was my friend in kindergarten. And when we move on to elementary school, I decided that I was going to confess to him. Not because I liked him, but because I wanted attention. So this is how I did it, right? It was Friday. He was sitting there and like one of my closest friends was with me. And I told her, hey, <laughs> Can you help me confess to that guy? And she was like, oh, Yes, I will! So I gave her specific instructions on how to confess. Tell him someone in this class has a crush on him and ask him to start listing names and only say yes when it gets to my name. So it's an extremely subtle form of confession. She was like, Okay, I'll do that. So she walks over to him and immediately tells him, Yo, Feline has a crush on you. Was I not specific enough? And then his reaction was like, Ooh. <laughs> like that guy from the World Cup. Ooh. He called my name from his table and he did this. He likes me back! <gasps> and then we never talked again. <laughs> so, do you still have Teddy? Teddy was this bear that I would always sleep with and I refused to wash him because I liked the fact that he smelled like me. All right, this is making me sound extremely narcissistic. Anyways, right now he's rotting away in the balcony. I haven't seen him for a good while and I'm too scared to look for him because Toy Story. Plus, do you have a kitty or doggy? That's what I've wanted. <laughs> yes, we did. It took exactly one year of convincing because we got Abby when I was 11. She either really likes me or does not trust me at all to grab her. Look at this. It's like, it's like my arm is magnetic. Plus, we went to these amazing places when I was 10. KL, Malacca, Sabah, and Singapore. Right, okay. So, so far, you can add Taiwan to the list. Thailand, Switzerland, the only like country in Europe I've ever been to, and Vietnam. And do you still remember the shows we kept watching on YouTube? Regular show and our favorite movie, Frozen. <laughs> I remember after Frozen came out, I rewatched the movie literally six times because I was so entranced by Elsa. I still didn't realize I had a crush on her at the time. I thought it was just homie behavior. If you forgot, watch the commanding tone. Watch it right now. Do you remember where the show? Do you remember? Watch it right now. I really wanted to watch seafood and me leafy sons. <laughs> me leafy sons. Basically back then, <laughs> back in my days, we didn't have silly stuff such as Netflix. I'm just kidding, we did. Uh, we didn't get Netflix and I didn't know how to use pirate the website so most of my movies I watched using a CD and we couldn't find like CDs of Maleficent or Seafood. Do you remember my friend's legal name? My friend's full legal name? We went to drawing class together. Wait, we went to drawing... What? <laughs> we went to drawing class together. Ha ha ha! Why am I laughing in this? This is like one of the friends I mentioned in my uh, other video. She sent me this lovely message telling me how she was doing the other day. Here are some movies I want us to watch five years later. All right, let's see if we manage to do this. Number one, Frozen. Oh my god, you have watched it ten times. Stop. Number two, Maleficent. Number three, The Lego Movie. It is actually really good. Like, unironically, The Lego Movie is such a banger. Number four, Seafood. I watched it. I don't remember anything that happened. Number five, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. One and two, watch those, love them. I would cry when watching Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs too because the little marshmallow guys were so adorable but I knew that I would never be able to see those in real life and it made me burst into tears. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, yes, we watched that. And also, I'm so surprised with like the comeback that TNM, 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 Hmm. TMNT is making on TikTok again. Like for a while back then, I thought that I was the only one who watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I had no idea it was so popular. Oh, so you want to know a curse thing? I uh, I shipped, <laughs> I shipped the one with the red band 
with the one with the blue band because I didn't know they were brothers when I first watched it. I thought they <laughs> uh, 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 threw up in my mouth a little when I found out. X-Men 1, 2, 3. I have watched all the X-Men movies. I am an obsession with X-Men. X-Men single-handedly is the cause of me constantly doing this. Mm. At random objects to try and lift them. How to Train Your Dragon 1, 2. Oh, I was obsessed with this movie. But I don't remember it anymore. It's really sad. Maybe I should rewatch it. <laughs> You're so stupid looking. <laughs> Number 10. B movie. <laughs> And I added a heart at the side because it's been my comfort movie since I was 10 years old. The B movie is the perfect comfort movie. I'm pretty sure I went on a rant about this before. You can watch it without thinking about anything. You can watch it with your brain on autopilot. It's just a movie. It's the most movie ever. Alright, so this is the ending paragraph. I'm expecting something emotional and touching. <clears throat> Please, do you remember Christina? I hate that girl! I was like her slave! Jesus! When I helped someone else draw, she would not let me! Good thing I am no longer controlled by her! Hee! Bye! What? This is how I ended the letter? I ended the letter! by shit-talking one of my classmates. She deserved it. So, so basically, my beef with Christina was that she knew I liked to draw, so she would force me to draw, literally force me to draw. I wanted to go home and hang out with my friends, and she was like, no, sit down now and draw me something. And because I was the baddest bitch that stands up for myself, I sat down and drew something for her. Yeah, I was scared of her. I don't know if this is a worldwide -like thing, but in like Chinese primary schools in Malaysia, when you want to stop being friends with someone, you have to physically do this. You point it at them and you do this because that means our friendship is severed. And that was like the contract way to end the friendship. Like it was all over when you saw someone doing this at you. And then if you wanted to like be friends again, you guys like do the pinky thing. Basically, I had enough of her shit. So I was like, we're no longer friends. <laughs> I went home and I was telling my mom, because I tell my mom everything. I was like, yo, I am free. I am no longer controlled by Christina. I am a dove. And then the next day, Christina was like this to me. And I felt bad, so I did this back and we became friends again. And so I was controlled by her for the next uh, two years. Like I said, badass. Okay, my legs are getting so sore. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her paws! So that's the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. Just wanted to share this with you all. Nice to see that I still enjoy ending stuff on shit talking. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!